Hello everyone, DarkVise88 back again with another pickups video. We got, you know, we got a pretty good pickups video today, just showing you around the room. We've got some anime, some movies, comic, you know, the usual stuff. Hasn't hasn't been a lot, just paying off the bills and you know, slowly building up the money. I got anime Boston coming up, so I'm saving up for that. But uh, yeah, I want to show you what I got, and you know, I'll have more come February and March, and a lot coming in April. So let's get started. All right, bring it to the table. So first, we're going to start with comics. I picked up one graphic novel, Uncanny X Force: The Apocalypse Solution, which is a series, which is essentially the Black Ops team of X Men, with uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, Archangel, Psylocke, and Phantom X. And it's it's a really good series. It's a really good series so far from what I've seen. Art's pretty good. The characters are interesting. It's got a lot of action. And even though I have no idea who Phantom X is, he's from the Grant Morrison era. He's pretty cool. I like Psylocke. Deadpool's hilarious. It's definitely worth checking out if you like other sort of, you know, different sort of team books. And you really don't need to know a lot about X-Men history to understand a few things about this. It kind of just gives you a basic rundown. Also, what happened with the major events of the X-Men universe prior to this coming out, like Regenesis and second coming, so on and so forth. But yeah, really cool. Now for movies, uh, there was a video store up in Derry, New Hampshire, which was closing out, so I went up there and bought a few movies. Most of these cost uh, $3.50. It was three, it was, um, or four for 10. So first I picked up American Splendor, which is a biographical movie about Harvey P. Carr, the writer of the American Splendor comics. Very, very good movie. It's one of my new top favorite comic book movies. Very well done. Great acting. Paul Giamatti's hilarious in this movie. Just worth checking out. I also love how they all came in the original, you know, movie store. Cases with little lock and everything. It's pretty badass. But yeah. Next I got The Last King of Scotland with Forrest Whitaker, who we all know from Crying Game and Platoon. And also... James McAvoy, who plays Charles Xavier in X-Men First Class. It's a good biograph... It's a good, like, another history piece about the life of Idan Idai Amin, the dictator of Uganda. You really, you know, McAvoy... McAvoy's okay in this, but you really watch it for Forrest Whitaker. He's just spectacular as the guy... as the dictator, as uh, Amin in this. Worth checking out. It's a very, very dark movie, though, but if you can find a cheap copy of it... I'd say definitely give it a check, give it a look over. Next up, I picked up uh, Titan AE, the last major movie that Don Bluth did from 2000. It's pretty, uh, notice the sticker up there. Video update, cool. Update, I got Titan AE. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, you know, it's a short movie. Could have done more to explain the universe, but the animation's good, the acting's perfect, and a lot of the set pieces are really fantastic. It's a... It's a good, it's a good, it's a good view, read, you know, uh, bleh. It's a good watch. It's got, uh, Matt Damon, Bill Pullman, John Leguizamo, Nathan Lane, Janine Garofalo, and Drew Barrymore. It's just got a lot of good actors in this, and actresses. Also, it was co-written by Josh Whedon, who also wrote Creative Firefly. But yeah, worth checking out. Oh yeah, the original cover had him firing a gun when they were going to release it, but Columbine happened, so they had to change the poster to just the hand thing, but you know... A little note, but yeah, really awesome. Check it out. And then for a buck, I picked up Frost Nixon, based on the Frost Nixon debates from the 70s, Ron Howard film. I have yet to watch it, but I heard a lot of good things about it, and it, you know, it was for a dollar, so why not pick it up? But yeah, I'll be sure to talk about this at some point and tell you what I think about it. Now for anime, I got I have two. The first is I got from the video store. Digimon the movie, which is which I used to like. I watched. I saw this with my grandfather when I was a kid. Watched it on TV and oh, like five years later. And now I have the movie and it is god awful. It's like this is the ultimate in bad Americanized anime dubbing. I mean, it's not to say I hate Digimon. I love the series, but this movie just took three different movies, spliced them together, and somehow came up with an 83 minute monster. I think I, I want to make a drinking game out of this movie. Just how bad it is. But, um, you know, it's just one of those cheesy movies you just you just have to have in the collection. But yeah. And finally, 
I got a Blu-ray of a movie that's got a lot of good things to it, and it's amazing, and it's now my new favorite movie of all time. It beat Summer Wars. Redline. Oh yeah, the film about intergalactic racing. This anime movie is now... This is just spectacular. It's all it's hand-drawn animation at its finest. The music's fantastic. The acting's great. The character is memorable. The worlds are fantastic. There's just so much I can talk about this movie. It's honestly one of the animes you have. It's now required viewing along with Akira, Ghost in the Shell, Fooly Cooly, Evangelion, Dragon Ball Z. It's one it's now one of the top required viewing movies of all time. This movie, pick it up. There is a DVD. There is a DVD of it, but if you want the full experience, go Blu-ray, nice HD TV, fire it in. N not this is not worth missing, worth it. But yeah, that's it on my uh, that's it on the updates. I plan on having some more come probably come mid February once money starts rolling in. Also, I'm very excited because in March, there aren't a lot of video games because right now the only video game I care about is Mass Effect 3. Coming March 7th. Pick it up. But anyways, um, yeah. So that's my update. Glad you guys liked it. You know, like it and write a comment. You know, whatever. But, you know, 